You let him play. No, no, we don't no know. there's no need. You know he's yes. not in there. Get off of me. Get off of me. So what we have here is standard police to see and a good example of why it pays to stand up to doorstep bullies. Most officers who possess a modicum of grey matter know that they've got limited powers to force entry into someone's home. I've covered this subject at length in Never Allow the Police Into Your Home. Short version, nothing good ever comes of assisting the police. The problem originates from them becoming so blasé about the public allowing them in without protest that they've come to believe that it's their right. And anyone that refuses to allow agents of the state to come trudging through their private domain are just common criminals with something to hide. To that end, the police will do whatever it takes to trick their way in. The most common method deployed is to misstate their powers of entry, most of which are provided by Section 17 of PACE and rely upon the householder's ignorance of the law. In this case, the officers refuse to state what offence they suspect the person they're looking for has committed, something that we all know is a privacy the police selectively ascribe to the wanted. The occupier is entitled to know the offence in question so that they can be certain the officer has the authority he claims he has to force entry. Let me tell you now that the police here don't have the authority to force entry, but that doesn't stop them from lying and bluffing in the hope that the woman at the door will give way. The police are inquiring into a disagreement between two neighbours. The first neighbour made an allegation of common assault against a Mr Carter over a year ago. The police have invited Mr Carter to a voluntary interview, which in police parlance means mandatory. When he doesn't attend their confession session, the police think that provides them with a perfect reason to make an arrest, throwing necessity and proportionality to justify that arrest right out the window. Now, common assault is a summary offence. The police don't have any powers to force entry into a private dwelling to arrest someone for a summary offence, except in very narrow circumstances set out here. They can only enter by force to arrest for more serious offences, known as indictable offences. The police know this and so they'll often deploy a well-worn slippery tactic to get round it. What they'll do is turn up at a person's home and upgrade the summary offence to an indictable one, despite it being entirely contrary to the victim's allegations. Then when they get to the station and book that person in, they'll downgrade the offence back to a summary one. The police use this tactic often because they think it protects them from civil liability for unlawful arrest when it doesn't. This is why it always pays to make a subject access request for any incident log, body one video, crime report, radio traffic or officer notes made in relation to such visits. Because if all of the reports mention nothing but a summary offence and the police attempt to circumvent their Section 17 entry powers by upgrading it to an indictable offence, they can be sued for trespass and unlawful arrest. But all this is entirely moot because summary offences only have a six-month window of prosecution attached to them. If the police or the CPS do not commence criminal proceedings by issuing a court summons within six months to the day the summary incident occurred, then the offence is out of time. So these officers are attempting to investigate an offence that is already six months out of time and therefore their threats of entry are an assault and their refusal to leave the property is trespass. Tell you himself, that's, that's his choice. I cannot tell you what he, what the allegation is, okay? I'll speak to Mr. Carter about that. So he agreed to come in last week if he to turn up. To turn up for what? For an interview, interview. That he agreed to come Yeah, in. but you don't know what it's about. I know exactly what it's about. You do, oh, you do know what it's about. What is it about? I just explained to you. I cannot tell you because he's an adult. But why are you turning up at my door? To risk You him. know exactly where he is. Why don't you go over there wherever he's and arrest him from there? Why are you coming here? Well, I don't know where he is, but I know you know where he is. I know where you know where he is. I had a very strong inkling that he was inside a premises. No, you haven't. No, you never heard. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, well, there you go. You thought it was me and it wasn't. That's why. So there you go. You might have been hearing people downstairs. No, right behind the door. Right behind the door, there's two people. Well, you, you, you heard so, me. I don't know who is else in there. I know that there's possibly another female that lives here and Mr. Carter. Another so, female uh, who lives uh, here? I was informed that there's a yourself, Mr. Carter, and possibly an adult daughter that may be in his premises. Right, so we've come to give him a lift to Woodford. Oh, he needs a lift from you, does he now? No, we've come to offer him a lift. A 
and then we will go to Woodford, interview him, bring him back, and it's finished. That's all we need to do with him. So why are you guys here? Why are you here? If he doesn't turn so what? Is he committed a crime? Up. Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Where? What crime has he broken? I cannot tell you. We've all explained already. We can't tell you what. Okay. Who's at the door? Um, there's two officers here, Miss, and they've said there's, the there's, um, there's a male no, here. No, I don't want to look at them. What? What's up? They're, no, they've said there's a male here. Now, who's, they know exactly where he is, Who's at the door? they're turning Miss, up here. Who's at the door? Miss, we've been knocking for ages. Miss, we have the power to, we have, we have the power to go in, so I don't know why you've been... What coming. power to go in? Section you've got no power to go... What page. section? You've got no power to go in. Is Mr. inside? They're going in. They're saying that there's a male in the house. I heard a female and a male talking. Is Mr. Carter in the house now or we're coming? I heard a female and a male talking. Miss, she's shutting the door. She's just putting some clothes on. Sorry. She's just putting some clothes on. Has he committed a crime or something? Does it look like he's in there? People shut the door on us. No, no. She's gonna get changed. She's in pajamas. <coughs> we have the power to force our way in. Okay. I've been banging on the door for ages. She's, she's, probably, had a chance she's in the pajamas. Have had a chance to get dressed in that time? I don't think so. Okay. I expect that he's in there. I 100% expect he's in there. That backs up what I was believing earlier. There's a female in there and a male talking. Oh, door. he's not. Okay? You, you know, officer, hold, you know exactly. You know he's exactly hold, okay? where he is. You, open you door, know exactly where. Door. They've come here with an attitude. They've come here with an attitude. They've come here with an attitude. We're here very friendly, attitude. hoping it will come very with friendly. us. Very okay? friendly. The I problem heard you is, slamming on the door. I think oh, no, yes, because I heard a female, I, I believe it was you, and a male talking behind the door. Okay? You didn't this, this female. That. You've just made that up. Okay. Made it We're now coming in to look for Mr. Carter. No, okay? no you're not coming, We're coming in. We're coming in to look for Mr. No. Carter. Yeah, go and get a warrant. In. No, you have no, no you need have a warrant. Warrant. You need a warrant. Okay. No. Now, no. Listen to the address you now. You need a warrant. You need a warrant. Now. Now. Address you, address need a warrant. you need a warrant. You need a warrant. You need a warrant. If you're trying to harbour someone that is wanted, no, I'm not trying to harbour someone that's wanted. No, that's a lie. You know it is. We have the power to come in. Because you guys have done this before. So this cop's given up on his fiction of forcing entry to arrest for an indictable offence and has instead opted for a different power under Section 17, as he put it, because they're harbouring somebody who is wanted. A pathetic attempt at misstating subsection CB under Section 17 of PACE, which allows police to force entry to recapture somebody who is at large, having escaped detention. Do I really have to state that harbouring someone who's failed to attend a voluntary interview for a summary offence that occurred 12 months ago, is never a crime. Well, of course, I need to point it out. If you're a police officer who's actually been given licence to enforce these laws, clearly it must be pointed out, and in careful, intimate detail, in the same patronising way you'd explain to a three-year-old why they shouldn't play with scissors. How many years and to how many people has this officer and his colleagues lied about their powers of entry as a means to trick their way into people's homes? Them and no doubt tens of thousands of police officers across the country who do not possess even a rudimentary understanding of the laws they use daily to bully and intimidate us within our own homes. Okay. That's what it is. You are coming in to do surveillance. You think the public is stupid. We are not stupid. Don't speak, to the, don't speak down to the public as if we don't know what you guys are about because you do bugger all for the public. No, there's no need. You haven't got a warrant. Right, we don't know no, the yeah. he's in there. But you know he's not in don't there. Don't use violence against you me. Know no, he's he's don't touch me. Listen. Don't touch me. Listen. You don't know touch he's not me. Because I don't know if you're a paedophile yeah. rapist. Uh, don't touch right. me. Oh, right, yeah, 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 the come phone's on. ringing. The phone's ringing. Yeah, if you can prove he's not in here by sending us a picture of But the burden of proof is for you to prove that, not me. If you can tell us where he is. Let me just get the phone. The burden of proof is on them to prove that. It's not on you. So can I just yeah, go on, go for it, go for it. Are you, are you cleaning where we've touched? Yeah, because I don't know what you've got on your hands. Okay, then you need to clean this, because I've touched that as well. I'm really being honest with you, I've touched that. Yeah, I know exactly what you've touched, because I've been filming you the whole time. Is he upstairs? Can you keep bringing him downstairs? He's clearly not upstairs. upstairs. So why why would someone make a phone call from upstairs? You'd hear the echo. Hello? They, they, they want to kick the door down. They want, yeah. to, they want to just 
You know that PC Thomas, he's just kicked the door into me earlier. He kicked the door. He kicked it because it hurt my hand. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to get the next one. I can't be bothered to go over there. Um, he, he's he's the at the door. Exactly. No, they've got the, they've, they've got they've got they've put jam in the door. Yeah. Now it's at this point the police start to make a gradual about face of standing down, realizing that the person they're looking for is not in the property because he's on the phone. So now is a good time to start back covering, collaborate in their version of events to ensure that their reasonable suspicion is never proven defective. Remember, the police are never ever wrong. It's the facts and reality that make mistakes. Never them. Yeah. Um, obviously, I can't they, say they, 100% they, yeah, they know where you are. They know you're not here. Or he's here. Who gave you the authority under so Pace? I need to go by what you've said. So we, under Section 17 of Pace, we don't need authority. If we believe that someone Believe, is, and you could be lying, you and you've finish? pretty much made it up. There's no point in asking me a question, not really. Mr. All right, go for it. Okay. No, 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 he's no, talking. Question. Okay, so Section 17 of Police and Criminal Evidence Act, we think someone who we want to interview or speak to about the fence is wanted is inside the house. Yeah. Okay. Right, so you could just make that up. You could say, oh, I can believe that I heard a cat or a dog or a... No, a a With what intel? The a male voice could be Why? anybody. No, no, My own no, ears. They're 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 ears. Your own ears, There's which you could have just made it up. Voice. You didn't hear anything. You, you didn't right? hear you anything you. because I didn't you. hear a word. You didn't say a word. You know, I said your, absolutely your nothing and you were just, you were a liar. You were a liar. If we decide to force entry under Section 17 Police and Criminal Evidence And you've done that before. And you think, and you get in our way, you can be arrested for obstructing a constable as well. Yeah. And to make something which is could be relatively straightforward. Right. So your belief that the male is in the house is a complete lie. Yeah. It's so you're using lie. no. It is a lie. It is a lie. My colleague. Because you can. I could know. You know what? I could get another constable to burst into your home and go. Oh, I believe that there was prostitutes in there. Would you like that if I did that to you? And they burst into your house. Would you like that? And I made up some false allegation because anybody could do that. Anybody could do that. Yeah, but if someone's come to us and given us a statement, then we've got... We've got someone's giving you a statement, so that yeah, gives yeah. you a right to burst into their home. To if we think that the wanted person's inside the house and they've refused to attend interviews, and yes, we can. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they have already come. There's five of them outside. There's five of them outside. Hmm? Yeah, there's five of them outside. Yeah, they've invited more of them here from the area. Yeah. Yeah. Off to course we would, yeah. I was wishing with the threat you made as well, so I'm not I'm not particularly yeah. happy to be. Well, oh what, so you've got all men against me? You're that scared of me that you've got more is. men against me to try and attack me. I clearly didn't make a threat, I was had my back to you. Yeah. I know I heard me, so it's what like I said it's on camera. So. And what did you what did you hear? What did you hear? What you, did you hear? I heard you say that this one's going to get it if they're trying to force their way in. This one's going to get it. Because you thought yeah. you could lay your hand on a, on a woman. That's a disgusting thing. Yeah. Absolutely so, disgusting. So you're... What, Scum. You're Scum of the earth. And they're basing it on one of them. Are you... They're basing it on one of them and saying that he's, yeah. he can hear a male voice. Is, is that Mr. Cartney on the phone? Is there any, is, you know where you are? Are there any police around there at all? Can you yeah. see any officers? Any station Flag police? them down, because I'm pretty sure there's none. Oh, OK. Yeah. Is that Mr. Cartney? Uh-huh. On the phone. On the phone can you put the phone down and I'll speak to him on that one quickly? Oh, OK. I bet there's no police around where he is. No, he can't see. No, because you'll never find them when you need them. So, should I leave the, do you want to leave the line open? If you get him to hang up, and then if you don't mind, I can call him, or you give me the number I call on. I've got a work phone. I've got a work. From this point on, these cops are just tying themselves up in never tighter knots of backward logic. For no other outcome, it seems, than to give us all something to laugh at on YouTube. They know they're defeated, their desire to enter has been lanced, but they just cannot bring themselves to do the decent human thing and admit they're wrong. 
Due to the subject matter of my channel, YouTube are no longer recommending my videos. So if you think my content and my cause is worthwhile, please tell as many others as you can about me. The bigger this channel grows, the better I can fight police abuses of authority and empower as many people as possible to do the same.